What up, what up, what up everybody, Deadfink here and this video is gonna be a discussion and this would be consisting a couple of ideas about Mother Caramel's identity. In the previous chapter we got to know about Yonko's assassination plan and we all certainly know that it is bound to fail. Well, in a story writing perspective, if the whole plan gets its revelation then it won't happen as desired. We can take Dress Rosa as an example. So the plan is actually very precise about what is needed to be done and for this plan to succeed you gotta do everything right. If you mess up even a little thing you're gonna get doomed to hell. And there are many things that can go wrong in the plan. Luffy's entrance, Pudding's gunfire, tomato bako box, there are countless things that could mess up and one of the things among the list is Mother Caramel's portrait. So rather than how will it mess up, let's get into who Mother Caramel could be. So first off, let's talk about what we know about her. Mother Caramel is a mysterious person associated with Big Mom. Details about her are currently unknown, but Capone Beach and Charlotte Chiffon guess that she might be the benefactor of Big Mom that went missing. During every tea party, Big Mom places a picture of Mother Caramel across from her at the table, means in front of her. If Caramel's picture is damaged, Big Mom will enter a psychological crisis which will render her able to be physically injured. There are many ideas regarding who Mother Caramel could be like. She is Jewelry Bonnie and she is Miss Bakin or she is the real mother of Big Mom. They are just ridiculous and random ideas. But we are gonna talk about the ones that are more probable to happen. I'm gonna talk about them in the increasing order of their probability of being true in my opinion. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is, she is yet to be introduced character and was a real benefactor of Big Mom. So this is a very basic idea which everyone initially might be having. This is a possibility too. As I said in my video in which I reviewed the chapter 859, Caramel can be a new character and was the one who took care of Big Mom when Big Mom was a little kid. So the idea was that Big Mom was an orphan and was going through poverty due to some war that took place between her village and marines. She lived with animals and other creatures for a while. She was then found by Mother Caramel and was adopted by her. And Caramel took care of her and grown her to an adult. But when Big Mom grew up, she thought of becoming a pirate and went on the seas. As she lived with non-human creatures when she was a kid, her dream was to make an utopia where creatures of every species should live together. This would also make clear that why Big Mom likes food because as a child she went through while having no food to eat at all. So when she became a Yonko, she became ruthless in order to fulfill her dreams and this made Caramel angry and she wanted Big Mom to stop this ruthlessness but her not listening to her made her to leave the Totland and go somewhere on her own. So she is totally upset about her leaving the island and whenever her photo is damaged in any way, she goes through a psychological crisis while thinking about her sad past. So this is a basic idea, everyone of you might be having this when you first read about her. So this is so far fetched but this is a genuine idea of mine. And the next thing that I wanna talk about is a fake personality created by Pudding by altering Big Mom's memory. And Pudding might have done this to nerf Big Mom, to nerf the Yonko. And this is pretty much possible. We have seen Pudding despising the ideals of Big Mom and how she forces her children to marry the person she likes for her own benefit. We have also seen Pudding in her flashback with Lola. This was when Lola denied the wedding with Loki, the giant's prince, and was leaving the whole gig island for pursuing the husband of her choice. We totally got to know that Pudding had some affection towards Lola and probably hate Big Mom because of her beating Lola, as well as her twin sister, Chiffon. So she probably knows that if she doesn't control Big Mom then it could lead to a demise of more of her siblings and to prevent it she probably edited her memory to a point where she thinks of Caramel as someone important to her. So whenever Big Mom does something that is not supposed to be done, Pudding can just knock the portrait over and Big Mom will fall due to the psychological crisis. So this is a way of controlling Big Mom to not you know create havoc but you might be saying that she created havoc once in a while so I can assume that she won't do it in public but whenever this thing happens inside of the castle she prevents it. So this is the basic idea of this and the only evidence that I could provide to you guys is the image on your screen now. So as you can see Pudding's cafe was named as Caramel. 
Putin chose the name of a fake personality just randomly and the name happened to be the same as her cafe's name. So probably Oda gave us a little hint about who Mother Caramel is, who knows? And there is no point of showing us the name of the cafe that already got destroyed so who knows that this might be the truth. And the next one I'm gonna talk about is, which I liked a lot and Oda might have taken some kind of inspiration from this is Dorian Gray Theory. So the basic idea is whenever portrait gets damaged, Big Mom gets hurt. And this theory is made by two people, Joy Boy Theories, the god, the Yonko level theorist in One Piece community, and another theorist in orojackson.com named as One Piece Fan 9867. So props to both of them. So let's discuss that what that theory has. So first off, have you guys heard of Dorian Gray from the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Well, if not, here it is. Dorian was a man who became immortal via an enchanted portrait of himself made by Basil Hallward. So I don't know what Dorian Gray is about but I read the theory so I got to know that what the basic idea is. So this portrait is made by someone named as Basil Hallward. It reminds me of Basil Hawkins of course and his image is the portrait which ages while Dorian himself remains young and whenever he is injured, the painting takes the damage, while Dorian instantly regenerates. And when the painting takes the damage, he takes the damage. So it is like exchanging the damages, you can say. In the same case, whenever Big Mom gets hurt, the damage gets to the painting, the portrait of Mother Caramel. And whenever the portrait gets hurt, the damage gets to actual Big Mom. So this is the basic idea of this theory. And we also got to know about Big Mom's family who knows nothing about Mother Caramel at all which makes no sense with how many of the kids there are any one of them might be knowing that who Mother Caramel is and also the fact that it is Big Mom's lifesaver it should be just imminent that some of them might be knowing that who she really is. So if it was a person would she not tell the story to her family? Well it's a controversial topic so can't say anymore. So as Chiffon stated, when the picture got dropped, Big Mom started screaming and released Conqueror Saki and fall to the ground and bled from her knees. And Big Mom has ability to take souls out of people which has control over people's lifespan. Could it be like, Big Mom must be pretty old but she doesn't look super old, maybe the picture is taking the damage and the picture is getting older while Big Mom just stays as she is. And we also know that Big Mom's body is supposed to take damage from the increasing age but who knows that the picture is taking Big Mom's back, this would be really cool but as Capone has stated the only time to kill Big Mom is at the tea party. It is the only time when she takes the photo out of her protection to place it somewhere in front of her. But why bring it to the tea party? The reason is she brings it to the tea party because of the protection at the tea party is top notch. So the thought is. In the future of this arc, Capone's plan obviously won't work and there will be a giant mess or chaos uh, breaking out everywhere in the tea party. We will also get to see a Yonko's full power and what they are capable of. But I think eventually at the end of the arc, Luffy will grab the photo and rip it killing Big Mom and Big Mom will then collapse and all the Big Mom pirates will just leave and scatter while this moment Straw Hats and the others would escape but in my opinion this would be just too convenient. And if a part of her photo gets damaged, the same body part should be affected. But in the portrait, there are no knees. So it wouldn't make sense if that Big Mom's knees got hurt. Anyway, in my opinion, this is at the number two spot because mm, it has nice evidence and could have inspired Oda in some way. So this is what it is. I just want to discuss it with you guys. So here it is. And another thought that I really liked is that she is Gloriosa from Amazon Lily. This theory is made by... Shadow Flame and if you guys haven't heard of him go subscribe to him link would be in the description to all the theories that I'm mentioning. So Gloriosa is one of the former empresses of Kuja tribe before Boa Hancock took over. She is more commonly referred as to Elder Neon. When she was younger during her period ruling as the Kuja Emperor, Gloriosa left Amazon Lily and went to sea after being struck by lovesickness, a disease that had killed many of the predecessors and she somehow managed to survive the ordeal. But the act of leaving the island did not go unnoticed. So the idea is that the Mother Caramel is actually Gloriosa or Neon, whatever you may call her, um, from the Kuja tribe. And Shadow Flame says that in the silhouette of Mother Caramel, we can see something in her right hand. And Gloriosa also holds a staff in her right hand. And also at the beginning of chapter 859, there was a cover page 
themed on Snake, where Usopp and Brook were playing with snakes. So out of thousands of fan requests, Oda chose to draw the cover page with snakes in it and the snakes represent Amazon Lily you all guys would be knowing. So out of those 100 fan requests, why would Oda just choose a random friend request that represents snakes and that represents um, Amazon Lily? Well, I don't know, probably because um, Gloriosa is from Amazon Lily, who knows. And Shadow Flame thinks that she is Big Mom's mother. But I do not believe in that as she is suspected to be her caretaker and benefactor. So in the beginning of theory I stated that probably Big Mom was adapted by Caramel and she was present as Big Mom grew up but ultimately she left. So in the case the reason why she left was because she needed to go back to Amazon Lily. This would just make a lot of sense and this would make show sure that Big Mom was powerful as a child too because she was supposedly grown by her and she trained under the one of the Kuja tribe member I mean Gloriosa so that's why Big Mom was initially so strong and that's why moved her way up to becoming a Yonko who knows and this would make sure that Big Mom was powerful as a child just what I said and she was supposedly grown by her and she trained under the one of the Kuja tribe member I just said it who knows whether this photo would be torn or not. Probably the plan will fail and their cover would be broken and they would be fighting against Big Mom's commander and after defeating at the top tiers, Luffy has to resort to tear this photo and this will cause him to hesitate as he knew Gloriosa in the past and he will speak out loud that he is aware of who she is and then Big Mom would be like what did you say and then Big Mom would be just shocked that how does he know who Mother Caramel is and this will make Big Mom happy and she will be in debt towards Luffy and this arc would finally lead to a happy ending but this would make Bead mad that they weren't able to take a Yonko's head but what if Luffy proposes him to take Kaido's head instead? <laughs> just saying so the another thing that I want to talk about is and this idea just struck me before this idea I believed in the theory about Gloriosa but after getting to know about this idea it just blew up my mind really guys I just can't expect Oda to be a genius if this is what if, if this is what it is to happen then it's just gonna whoa blow up every reader's mind it's my guarantee to you guys and I won't be making a proper theory about this because I'm not the one who discovered this idea. I got to know this idea from Driz the Theorist. Uh, props to him. Subscribe to his channel too. Well, if I say it, then you guys won't believe it. We already have seen Mother Caramel's photo back in Jaya arc. Yes, we already have seen her back in Jaya. And I won't be discussing much about it because um, he is planning to do a video about it. So the basic idea is back in chapter 220. We saw Luffy, Zoro and Sanji to go and investigate the ship named as Saint Bliss that fall from the Sky Island. Sanji found a portrait of a lady. The image would be on your screen now. On taking a close look, she somehow resembles the lady in Caramel's portrait. The swirls of her hair are there in Caramel's photo too. If you take a closer look and you look very very closely you will just the idea would struck your mind that the hairs are having swirls the hairs are curly so who knows that why this could be or would this be or not and the evidence that I am having about this is title of mother are given to the Catholic people you know mother and sister this title is in Christianity in, in Catholic side of the religion so the title of mother are given to the people who are Catholic only and saint saint in saint place is Catholic too I don't know what real connection between the lady in the portrait is with Big Mom if there is some kind of relation and the man who was the sailor of that ship the ship Saint Bliss whose dead body was found by Straw Hat he was 210 years old and there were holes in his skull and that person was dead and he died 210 years ago and he was of age of mid 30s and there were holes in his skull and that was probably cause of some intracranial disease and we were also certain that the ship was in Skypiea as we also find a waiver in that wrecked ship and there was a rusted katana too and this girl is the most suspected in my opinion if we are searching for Caramel's true identity and I leave the explanation of this thought to Driss the theorist. I don't know that 
who Mother Caramel could really be but I tried my best to discover the, the main idea, the main thought of who Mother Caramel could be. But the last idea about the photo of that lady whom we saw in Jaya Arc really struck me. It could be just absolute truth but whatever it is, it's gonna have some significance. And that's it for this one guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked the video. I request all of you to give your ideas in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you haven't already. And I'm Deathwink and I'll see you in the next one.